His clients include Pepe Le Pew, Donald Duck, Snow White, and Mickey Mouse. Ron Stark, he's considered the Surgeon General of Cartoon Restoration. His home base is SR Labs Animation Art Conservation Center in West Village Lake, California. Did I say that right? West, West Lake, Lake Village. Village. The West Lake it's down Village. near L.A., right? Yes, it is. Now he's going to be joining us to explain to us the delicate process of restoring animation cells. Right. Well, That's right. Thank what you. Is, what's an animation cell? An animation cell is a clear plastic sheet on which the animator's drawing is transferred either by hand or by machine, like a Xerox machine. And then there's one for every 24th of a second. There's 1,440 per minute wow. in an animated cartoon, in a fully animated cartoon. So let's take something like Snow White, what we're looking at here. How many of these cells would have had to have been created for that feature-length movie? 475,000 went under the camera to make the picture. That's amazing. And when yeah. they made these things, they weren't thinking about them existing no. here today, right? No, they were, made, they were made to last long enough for a week long enough to get from the ink and paint department to the camera department and then become part of the finished film. And they were trash. They were really movie trash. And the fact that people saved them uh, is a miracle. The fact that they even exist is a real miracle. So this is where you've got your vocation. Right. Because they were just meant to exist right. ephemerally, you're the guy that restores these. What goes into restoring an animation set? There's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of uh, testing. There's a lot of uh, knowledge of how the things are made. These uh, uh, clear plastic sheets are the first chemically uh, made plastic in the world. They're nitrocellulose. They're not like real plastic. They're, they're, uh, they're made from uh, uh, essentially uh, a, a flammable material. Mm -hmm. And uh, these, uh, these things shrink and lose their paint over a period of time. They shrink, change shape, all kinds of things happen. You can kind of see some of the uh, changes in shape, a uh, little, little kind of uh, contour ch uh, shape here, uh, uh, change uh, with uh, Snow White. Definitely. And Actually, we've got um, an ailing Donald Duck. This yes. is from 1949. That's right. Let's take a look at, okay, it looks yeah. pretty beat up there. He's been That's molting right. or something. This is a piece that somebody bought for a dollar and a quarter at Disneyland uh -huh. in 1955. And then you, it got into your hands and you fixed right. it up. And That's there it right. is, completely halfway, restored. It's halfway done, I think. No, it's halfway done, okay. And it gets halfway done. And then we, and there, then we there finish it off. And we, we then, you know, take the, the cell. We, we also do digital imaging as well. Mm -hmm. And we're the only company in the world that's a conservation company that are Adobe service providers. We do all that with... Uh, First, in the computer, know exactly where we're going, and then we move into the handwork. It's so, really cool. So when one of these comes into your shop, how do you diagnose what's wrong with it? Because it's not the same thing every time. It's not a matter of just the no. paint flaking off. It could be a whole range of things. You're absolutely right. Well, actually, we use uh, a host of uh, equipment. We use a polarized light microscope. And the polarized light microscope is uh, an incredible piece of equipment. I, was, I went to the... Uh, uh, the McCrone Institute for Microscopic mm -hmm. Studies in Chicago to learn how to use the polarized light microscope, like the one you're seeing right now. That's our station right there that Olympus uh, provided to us. It's really cool. And uh, that piece of equipment is uh, the same piece of equipment that's used in hospitals and uh, uh, medical facilities all across the fluted plane. It's a really neat piece of equipment. And we've got, we've got another uh, shot here of Mickey and Pluto. Mm. And there's, there's a little story behind this, right? Yeah, there you're seeing our stereoscope and uh, Snow White below it, and we can actually choke up on it. Yeah, this is really, a guy bought this in a garage sale for $10, and it looked really, really terrible, just like you see it here. Mm -hmm. uh, the cell was uh, really in bad condition, and there was almost no paint left. And he called me up, and he says, what do you think I have here? And I took one look at it, and I said, well, you've got about $6,000. You're kidding me. No. That's no. how much these things are worth, they even in be, that condition? Even in that condition, yes. Yes. Right, th there's the after. Look at there's the beautiful the John that really yeah. did. Isn't that incredible? And that, uh, that took about a week to do, and uh, the cell was hanging on his wall, and uh, uh -huh. he's a happy camper. Yeah, now, I, I've also heard that uh, you had some difficulty in restoring these things because Disney didn't want to give you sort of the secret formula to the paint palettes that no, they used. Years use. ago, they didn't because they were afraid that we would, we would uh, leak the secret. But uh, after uh, many years of association with them, we still make the inks and paints the same way they did at Disney 65 years ago. Right. And you also mentioned that you use uh, some of the Adobe products yes. in order to have this work be possible. We use all the Adobe products. So right. t tell me how uh, the computer assists you in doing this and how this sort of changed the business since before computers existed. Well, of course, now we can do, we can do we can visualize exactly what we're going to do before it happens. We can also uh, download the image uh, from the actual film, the strip film, and see what we're doing. And that's, uh, that's a great help to see where we're going and know what the piece looked like before it was damaged. Because mm -hmm. there are sometimes pieces that are completely missing 
that we have to fix and even recreate. Of all the, uh, the cells that are still out there today, what is the most valuable? Well, that's hard to say, but there are there are still cells to be rediscovered. I mean, mm -hmm. there's people people have them in their garage, in their attics, in their basements. They don't even know what they have. But probably the queen and the peacock chair is one of the most valuable pieces that still exists from Snow White, a cell and original background from the film. And if somebody does find uh, one of these cells in their garage, should they get in contact with you? Is there anyone else in the world that does this sort of thing? No, SR Laboratories is the only animation art conservation center in the world. We're 25 years old this year. How much would it cost me, say I found one of these cells, how much would it cost me to restore it? That depends upon what it needs, but it's it's reasonable. It's mm -hmm. always reasonable. People say, is it going to be $10,000? No, it's not going to be $10,000. It's it's a very reasonable amount. It goes by procedure, not by the amount of labor that's required. Yeah. To do and, it. and an investment, I'm sure, because when it's sure. in its beat up state, I'm sure it's not worth okay. nearly as much as in its completed fixed it's, state. Yeah, well, you're going to improve its longevity by taking care of it, of course. All right, well, Ron, thank you so much for being here. That's Ron Starr from SR Laboratories Animation Arts Con Conservation Center. It's a long name. <laughs> It's a, long name. It's, a long it's a long name. name. If you'd like to learn more about Rob Stark and his cartoon clients, head to thescreensavers.com. We have more images and descriptions about the tech of cartoon restorations and SR Labs.